Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. We are live here at the 2024 BET Awards Experience. Black Entertainment TV. Talking to black people. Standing on culture. Standing on culture, man. And all the way from Chicago, one of my player partners, one of my real homies, we've been working together and wilding out. Man, yes, come sir, kick it yes, like, like he really be on the cast for like two weeks and then just bounce, bro. Yeah, Funny as hell, excellent rapper, man, superb musician, my boy, Vic Mensa. Love, bro. What's up, G? Man? Hell Hello. yeah, Good to see man. You, man. Yeah, yeah, how you been? Man, I'm blessed, bro, super blessed. Bro, I see you got some of that dope ass Egyptian jewelry on. What, what you got on, bro? Yeah, this Ghanaian, you know I'm from Ghana. Oh, so word. I made this out of like some Ghanaian designs. That's hard. Yeah. You don't really see a whole lot of shit like that. Word. What does it represent? It's just some fly shit. I think this might be a fertility doll head, which is a little dangerous. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was saying. I got to keep them off me. <laughs> Fuck around and have some twins three times. Fuck around and be child BET support. BET weekend. Me deep. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, and they got some out here, too. They got some work they out here? They got some work out here. <laughs> hey, some work out here. Don't. I know you ain't unemployed, but you know, hey, it's work out here, man. Man, bro, I'm employed, bro. I got, <laughs> got a good job. I got a job, bro. With benefit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, stay away. But hey, I man, look. what you looking forward to seeing this weekend? You see how the, the atmosphere is just live as hell in here, man. Yeah, it's just dope. going on. Honestly, I just I just landed like probably two hours ago. Oh, word. And it's just dope. I just been bumping into my people left and right. You know what I mean? So. I think most of all, I'm I'm excited for that. You know what I mean? See people I haven't seen in a while. Uh, I ain't even thought about connecting with. You know, on the award side, who's performing and everything? Man, they got the big dog performing this year, bro. It's Usher performing, yeah. right? No, Will Smith. Will Smith. Oh, Will Smith is performing. Yeah. Hey, absolutely. Okay. He just dropped another what, billion it's dollar tribute. movie. So. It's an Usher tribute they doing. Right? Or something uh, like that. Pardon? I, I don't Maybe know. Maybe I'm making I that up. I think you breaking news to us. I hey, hey, you got right, I'm though. You, you got news. insider information, man. We just Shout out to Will Smith, man. I thought it was funny how, um, you know what I'm saying, white people was kind of like thinking black people was going to cancel Will Smith. Are they crazy? <laughs> Are they crazy? Because we understand as black people that sometimes you sometimes just, you just, you let just have you to let it out. And you know what's funny, though? You have to put hands on them, When that shit happened, too. I felt like Will Smith got the exact response he wanted to get. Cause in that moment, me and my girl watching it, and the first thing came out of her mouth, she was like, Will Smith a gangster. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. They forgot that he was a rapper yeah, first. They forgot where he started from. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's glad exactly we... what he wanted. He wanted motherfuckers to stop playing. You Put some respect me? on his name. Put some respect on his name, and it just right. happened to you know go through one person's right. cheekbone. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, she she gave the exact response I feel he was looking for. You See, when up, white I'll men go, go through the midlife crisis, they go buy a Corvette or a sports car, or some shit like that. When the black man go through a midlife crisis, he start getting grouchy in the motherfucking slapping people. <laughs> <laughs> Be a man. <laughs> hey, we were talking about Will Smith, but you know a lot of people. Don't they can't sleep on your acting skills, man? You doing your thing on the shot, bro. Like, Word, like how, how love, is that going bro. though? Like what? Man, that shit's been super dope, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just like another way of expressing mm -hmm. creativity. You know what I mean? Tapping into the human experience. So the shy is out now. It's on uh, Paramount Plus with the Showtime plan. And uh, yeah, like you said, man, I've been just studying that craft and right. acting a lot more. You know what I love about the shy is they actually use people from Chicago. You got to. Do you feel like it's a certain uh -huh. responsibility that you got to bring to the show because you got to represent the city at the same time too? But man, I think in general, man, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of time when I'm at the crib, like one of the main things people will come up to me and say is like, man, you represented for the crib very well, you know what I'm saying? So I do think in general, that there's a responsibility in that, especially if you come from such a misunderstood place as Chicago, that we like to see ourselves represented authentically, you know, Absolutely. not yeah. one dimensionally or, you know, as right. a stereotype or a caricature of ourselves. We like to see ourselves represented authentically. In everyday life type yeah, just shit. in yeah. real life, how real mm -hmm. people are, you know what I mean? Now, what is it like being on set, working with actors who are actually from the city and y'all still bringing y'all own experiences from different sides of the city too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, on set, 
Um, yeah, there's there's some actors from the city. You know, what I mean, I think I feel like it's so it's a lot that are not from Chicago yeah. as well. But it's also like, man, we are human, so it's like it's not so different at the end of the day. Being on set, I think for me is like one of the biggest things is learning how to stay in that moment, how to stay locked in to it. You know, because yeah. there's so much distraction, and obviously I got a lot of other jobs, but this ain't my only thing I do. So mm -hmm. people hitting my phone about, you know, things with the label or this with the music or this with the with the company. And I gotta like laser focus. I gotta yeah, cut yeah. stuff out. You know how it is when you're doing what you're doing. Cause man, like one thing I came to appreciate so much in one of the times I was on Wildin' Out, that time you talking about when I came and I was on the show for like <laughs> five episodes yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. Like, Yo, these dudes, these dudes is really working. It is demanding. Oh, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got to be on. They got to be thinking creatively, improvisationally, like, back to back to back. People think maybe you, like, scripting the jokes. Man, the vast majority of that shit, they got to come up with it on the fly. Right then. Because I'll be there and I'll be all day. That's why I keep smoking, y'all, when I do the freestyle at the end. It's <laughs> all day. I'll be like, this is what I'm going to say about him. This is what I'm going to say about him. This is what I'm going to say about him. But then doing multiple episodes in a row, I realized that, like, there's only so much of that you can even do when you got to do three episodes back to back. Exactly. You can't really plan three episodes worth of jokes right by the third episode it. you're like man my mind is cooked <laughs> you cooked you gotta be on the spot like that's the thing i really give y'all that show is really freestyle like y'all really freestyle and i wanted to ask you this you no know, like as a as a rapper as a musician you can always say man this shit this a movie i could see this this visually like on the actor side does it inspire you to go create music though mm. i think so man even because one thing I love to do is create music that'll be in the show or be on a movie, you know what I mean? That'll be synced. It's also one of the most lucrative things you can do in music. So I think even that part of it inspires me to be like, man, let me go make something that's cinematic, yeah. you know what I mean? A lot of times, like, triumphant music makes it into syncs. So I'd be like, man, I know what would fit this scene or what would work well for the ending credits of a Will Smith movie. You know what I mean? Like, let me oh. make some that could So it's fit. helping you tap into another bag, like, you Just know make you think about, I mean, yeah. cause man, you know, there's so many ways to get to this shit. You know what I yeah. mean? And like, that shit opens, if anything, it really opens up my mind to that. You know what I mean? Like, film and TV is such a vast medium because it includes comedy. It includes music. It includes Film, music media, videos, basically, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's all of those things at once, you know yeah. what I mean? Bro, how many um, how many BET Awards have you come to? You know actual BET Awards? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I've been to the media room thing quite a few times. I've been on a red carpet quite a few times. Just a handful, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I ain't come every year, you know what I mean, by any means. So just a handful, really. So the energy different this time, you think? For me, it's a little different because I was working with BET during this thing, and I'm a part of the culture class 24. Absolutely. So oh, yeah, for sure. Shout out we to y'all. We were doing, uh, like, a bunch of content and, like, making an event out of it for the last few weeks. So this energy is much different for me, for sure. Yeah. That's what's up, man. We love to see it, like the culture. Like this this media room is just different. You see all the people coming here. And I feel like it's important for us as like as talented entertainers to come and support the BET Awards. For because sure. this is like people can feel however they want to feel, but this is ours. This nah, is ours. This, this is, is us. Important. So yeah, we gotta support this, man. That's why I was asking, like, are you familiar with the atmosphere? Cause we've been having a lot of people like, man, this is really my first time, you know what Word. I'm saying? Just Word. trying to see what those experiences been like for everybody. No, like I said, man, it's been super dope. And I think like, um, like you said, man, we gotta celebrate our own spaces, you know, sure. at the end of the day, because it's like, it's only so much we can give away the sauce, you know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Yeah, because they're going to run with it as long as you give it to them, you know what I mean? Building power within our own 
establishments and structures, because that's one thing I will say is that even though I haven't been to that many BET Awards, since the since I was a teenager, when I first started doing anything, like BET always got behind me. You right. know what I'm saying? BET always positioned me and stood behind me. I want to shout out to Breeze, Breeze from BET, because they just always show love. Like, across the board. I'm sure you you could relate to this Absolutely. in your comedy. If you are a black artist, one of the first champions on the media side you're going to have is going to be BET. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've worked numerous BET projects. I just was talking to the lady <laughs> who used to be the BET casting director Digital. and she still work at BET. I'm like, just make sure you got my number anyway. Word. And, and so look, I want to ask you this before we wrap this up. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the ladies in the hip hop, uh, Right now, got a hell of a movement going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, they got, you got a any thoughts vice you grip attention. on. You got any favorites? <laughs> Man, all I can say is, I don't let my girl rap that uh, <laughs> 7 p.m. Friday. Oh yeah, I ain't got a nigga. I ain't got no nigga. Ain't got me. I be like, she start singing that shit. Cut I'll that shit like, off. What the fuck you mean by that? <laughs> it's just no a nigga. song. Who the fuck am I then? <laughs> I'm just some goofy running around with you, huh? <laughs> And I'm turning into a debate. Yeah, they talking big <laughs> shit. This I year, didn't know man. everybody, all the rest of the niggas felt the same way because she started showing me videos of like hip hop women and shit playing that while yeah. they nigga was there and they nigga doing the same thing I do every time. Rihanna just did like, that with uh, ASAP. And he was looking like, exactly yeah. how I be looking when she sing that. I'm like, what you mean by that? He was like, man, get me a drink. It's going to be a long <laughs> night. Absolutely, man. With Vic Word. Mesa. This one right here is for the books. We got to get you to come down to the A, man, and do come the on, real I show, bro. To, bro. I would love to, I mean, I'm a huge fan of what y'all doing, man. From before the show, but with the show, I think it's just beautiful how y'all have, like, combined forces, stayed collaborative, and, like, built something so beautiful, man. So I still got to make it to one of y'all actual shows. I got to see When we it. in Chicago? We in Where's Chicago she? this year? Chicago be one of the best. Uh, my girlfriend the A though, so I'll bring her down there. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you stopping through here I and hollering at us. Vic Mesa, BET Awards 2024, 85 South Show. We out of here. Yeah, yeah man. Bye bye.